I don't know about you, but here in San Antonio, we're always celebrating Selena. We are the Tejano music capital of the world. Un grito! Imagine 1830 Texas, a borderlands, a place of displacement and belonging, where multiple colonizations by Spain, Mexico, and the United States led to racialized systems of abuse and injustice, but also gave rise to new identities and cultural expressions that are unique and enduring until this day, like Musica Tejana. A genre of music rooted in the Tejano working class experience during a time described by San Antonio columnist Carlos Guerra of little upward mobility and even less mixing of its social classes. A situation that deteriorated for Tejanos, Mexicanos, and Mexican Americans after Texas independence in 1836, only to worsen after the Mexican American War. One of the first superstars of Tejano was Lydia Mendoza. She's also known as La Alondra de la Frontera, La Cancionera de los Pobres, and the first queen of Tejano. Wow, I can see how Selena took a page from Lydia's playbook. Yeah, Selena transformed the popular wave of Tejano music in the 1980s and 1990s, most of which was guys with big hair and great outfits. I know you're gonna say that San Antonio is the place to learn about Selena, but I'm gonna tell you that the National Museum of American History should be called the National Museum of Selena. Let me show you some of the great things we have. Well, I just brought you to the Archive Center, and let me show you some of the things that we have in the Archive Center and in the photography collection. Here you can see her in an amazing gold outfit. Selena was also known for her fierce sense of fashion. She often designed the costumes for her entire band. She designed the costumes she'd perform in. We also have really amazing images of J-Lo playing Selena in the Selena movie. Are those the pictures? Yeah, but we got more gems. You're missing out, girl. Let me show you. Boom, more Selena, more Selena, more Selena, more Selena. Boom. Wow, <laughs> hey, I love that purple outfit. You know, she also tried acting. Yeah, I remember her on the telenovela Dos Mujeres Un Camino. The National Museum of American History also discovered long lost footage of Selena on an episode of Tejano USA. Selena, bienvenidos a Tejano USA. Thank you, Waldo, nice, to be here. Nice to see you. Big year, Selena. She won uh, El Grammy. Una cosa yo creo was like a dream come true, verdad? Exactly. Tell us about it. Um, when they first told us that we were nominated, we all freaked out. Yeah. Um, we couldn't believe it. In the first day. I just ran out here to the same spot. I may just be standing exactly where Selena stood. She was at the top of her game when she passed away. And even after all these years, people still remember her and they're still inspired by her legacy. Let me show you a couple of things that come from the Smithsonian American Art Museum. Here's a pañuelo made by Manuel Hernandez. And here's a print by Rodolfo Cuellar. In San Antonio, Selena vive. Check out these amazing murals that celebrate her life. Hey, but Selena is bigger than Texas. Don't forget LA. La Reina de la Musica Tejana continues to inspire us. Our Latina history is American history. Feliz birthday, Selena.